right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jason Fass. I'm the CEO of Zep Labs, and joining me today is our CTO, my good friend, Robin Hahn. So today, we're announcing our new multi-sport platform, and it starts with this tiny yellow sensor right here. Now, despite it weighing only six grams, it's packed with technology and capable of recording 1,000 data points per second for all of your sports. In addition to this sensor, today we're announcing the first three sports on our platform, baseball, golf, and tennis. Now, as you can see, we're all set up for a baseball demo today. And to help us with that, we've asked one of our sport advisors to come up on stage. So please welcome six-time Gold Glove winner, JT Snow. Hey. Now, this is going to seem a little crazy, but we actually didn't ask JT to come on stage to hit a ball because there's someone in the audience that we really want to see what he's got. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Calicanus. <laughs> At the end of the bat here is a simple rubber mount. It's included with the sensor in the kit. Turn the sensor on. It's connected via Bluetooth to the phone that Robin's controlling. We're going to simply slide it in the mount here. And we're ready to go. Robin, we're ready to go. OK. okay. Now, yeah. you're up. Okay. We're actually going to put a ball on the tee for you. It's important to your judges that you don't hit them. All right, so here is. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Huh? Beautiful. So, for the first time in the history of baseball, you just saw it, a digitally captured swing in 3D. We captured over 1,000 data points and we plot that. Now, you can see his bat path, you can see his bat plane, and you can move around this model in 360 degrees. Now, imagine you had a camera above Jason's head and we wanted to take a look at that. Simply swipe your finger change that point of view. Now, this is a very helpful tool if you're a little league player or even a professional athlete trying to get a picture of what your swing looks like. Now, there's another big number there at the screen, 58 miles an hour, and I thought we'd ask JT, as a player, what does that number mean? How, how is that helpful? Well, to hit a ball far, it's all about bat speed. The faster you can swing the bat, hit it on the barrel, hit it out front, the farther the ball is going to go. So anything we do in sports, pitching, throwing a baseball fast is arm speed, hitting a baseball far or hard is bat speed. So we're trying to get as much bat speed as we can. And what we can do is we can register so that kids, players, professionals know their optimum bat speed. And Jason can explain as he goes down the dashboard here, but time in the zone is how long your bat is in the hitting zone. Yeah. So super helpful numbers, right? And as a player, JT can talk about they've never had these numbers before, even at the professional level. Never, anything like this. And I could tell you if, if I did, I would have been a, a much better hitter because I would have known um, my, my bat speed, everyone's going to be different, but my optimal bat speed and how far the ball goes off my bat, hitting is all feel, like any sport. So I would know in my head the bat speed I'm searching for, and you got it right here. So I'm sure the audience is wondering, the judges are wondering, I know you're wondering, how does this stack up? And you know, perhaps we're wondering, how might it stack up against, say, I don't know, World Series MVP Pablo Sandoval? Yeah, I would be wondering actually that. Yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right, 66. Nice, man. Thank you. All right, so we've also built a comparison engine in the, all of our apps. And right now we're going to compare Pablo's swing with Jason's awesome swing. And we're going to see those overlaid in 3D. And you can move around them in 360 degrees. We can bring up the dashboard view. And here you get a side-by-side -side comparison, World Series MVP, to Jason Calacanis, which he may find very helpful in his batting practice. <laughs> or not. I'm coming for you. So now, <laughs> listen, we, go, we had a feeling it was going to go down this way. Um, before Pablo runs to catch a flight, we got you a gift. Uh, first. Every Sandoval fan needs a panda hat. <laughs> and we got you a ball signed by Pablo, and it says, better luck next time. <laughs> All right, Pablo, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for not killing me. 
<laughs> okay, so that concludes the baseball demo, but as I mentioned...